More details now on a story you saw on Eyewitness News Live at 5. The city council voting no confidence in its president, and new tonight, we're hearing from some of them. Luis Aponte says he's still not stepping down. Aponte made the announcement this afternoon before the vote was held that stepping down would be an admission of guilt. And tonight, city councilors are weighing in. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin is live in Providence with new reaction. Well, Shannon and Mike, Aponte addressed a crowd outside Washington Park Library before today's vote. He said he believes in our system of justice and looks forward to his day in court. While he waits for that, his colleagues wait for him to step down. A refusal to resign following an overwhelming vote of no confidence. Make a motion to adjourn. Monday's special meeting of the Providence City Council was brief, but held value. The outcome, a 12 to 1 vote of no confidence in Council President Luis Aponte. I understand my colleagues uh, succumbing to political pressure. I get that. Um, I hope that we can continue to work together and, and work on behalf of all the citizens of the city of Providence. The Democrat was indicted last Wednesday after a lengthy investigation by state police. He faces one count of unlawful appropriation, one count of embezzlement, and two misdemeanor counts of misuse of campaign funds. Before Monday's meeting, he made his case in front of his supporters, constituents of Ward 10, which he has served since 1999. I've never been one to take the easier, more expedient path, and that does not end today. But just moments later, his colleagues called for the end of his council career. He should step down as city council president for the betterment of, of our capital city. Councilwoman Carmen Castillo abstained from Monday's vote. She tells us she isn't meddling in this decision and that this situation is one the city can learn from. When you have a team, you are together. Something happened to one person in this team, you have to support it. So now something happened to him and nobody supported. And interestingly enough, there's currently no way for council to remove Aponte from his position. If he were to resign, President Pro Temp Sabina Matos would step in, step in as acting president. Reporting live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.